So, this episode is going to end up being shorter than expected because I, well, finished the game. I thought I would finish the game today, I will admit, but I thought I had at least a couple of hours more gameplay to go through, and I definitely did not. So this may end up being a shorter episode, but it is a good one because it is the finale. I knew that things and problems were going to keep coming simply because that's what normally happens. And also then, this place. There was an awful lot of ammo for a normal place to resupply. I mean, something is very clearly going to happen here. And it did, almost as soon as I left. Aside from being attacked by a Starborn, which at this point is just a normal day. But it was also a Starborn that could make duplicates of us, all of us, multiple duplicates. Should I be offended that the weakest duplicates were the one of me? What we had to do to kill the actual Starborn itself, because otherwise new duplicates just kept being made. I expected the Starborn to be a challenge, but it honestly wasn't, and with it dead, the duplicates just vanished. Now it was a simple case of heading over to and into the buried temple, to our final challenge. Although maybe not a battle. The hunter is here and he's ready to kill us, but apparently he can be persuaded. But also apparently I'm not very good at diplomacy, so yeah, it's just going to be a battle now. With two of them, apparently. Uh, and also then just apparently teleporting us to Constellation, but one where everyone's dead, so it's not our world. Well that's okay, we're soon in a NASA facility before long, where I actually kill one of those hunters. But then we end up being teleported to a violently purple club, which is where the problems happen. Notice he drops through the floor? Yeah, that was a glitch. The enemy literally fell through the floor, and now we're stuck. Oh well, it wouldn't have been a Starfield finale without a glitch or two. End up having to reload and do all the battle stuff again, but when I get to the club this time, he doesn't fall down a hole. Fantastic. Continuing with that leads us to Backstreet, where I fight him and security forces, and then back in NASA with duplicates. I thought we were done with duplicates. As before with them though, no need to kill them, we just kill him. And we did. The hunter is dead, and we have all his artifacts and everything. Now we take the last one, and well, all I have to do now is put them together and end the game. However, as it is very much the end, the game does recommend we visit everyone first before heading off. So that's what I do, starting with the robot, as you would. Then I had a chat with Sarah, my wife, before talking to Andresia, and then heading back to the lodge and talking to everyone there. I guess now is the time for us to leave. I put all the artifacts together, and once I do, we just shoot off the unity, which is very pretty. It's also very pretty when we get there, and someone is waiting for us. Me. I hope you're Hi, me. You. He explains that things to us as best he can, although he does say we'll need to really go through with it to understand. And we learn what happens to those we leave behind, which won't be Sarah. She's coming with us, and everyone else has a pretty good existence. Seems like all we now do is simply head inside and see the beauty that is the universe. All universes. And then we're done. Look, there's credits and everything. That is the game. Although we can continue playing in the new universe. And I had to check it out a little. After all of our work with the, Star or with the Starborn fighting with and against them, it feels a little crazy to actually be one. And we are. And now we have one of those really awesome Starborn ships. You know, the ones that killed us a lot. Yeah. The game tells us to head to the lodge, and that's what we do. Nobody there actually really knows who we are, because obviously we're from a different universe, but we explain... Well, we can't lie to them, but we explain the truth. If we lie, we basically restart the quest, the main quest line again. We can do it all again. I can basically play the game again in the new universe, and, and no doubt there are some differences, because I'm now a Starborn. But honestly, it is mostly just going to be the same, so I feel like it's a good time to leave it. It's been a fun journey and a fun game, one I would recommend. I heard people call it Space Skyrim, and I probably called it that too, but now I don't know if I would go that far, because Skyrim is definitely a better game. But this one is still really good, and it's a similar style. The story was unique too, the context of Starborn and different universes and all that. That's not really something you see in sci-fi that much, it's more aliens. And it felt very different. No doubt I'll play again someday to 100% this, but for now, all that is left for me to do is to simply say thank you for watching both this episode and the series, and I will see you all again very, very soon.